What's up guys, Nate here. Um, I just wanted to show you the mill that I got not too long ago to go along with my grinder and whatnot. Um, but this is the High Torque uh, Model 3960 Mini Mill with the solid column so it's not tilting or anything. Um, <clears throat> you can see the stats about it. It's uh, got the biggest table for any mini mill. It's got the most power, um, most torque, I believe, and it's a, a brushless um, uh, drive, so it, uh, you can change the RPMs while it's spinning. You don't have to. There's no gearbox or anything. Um, no gears. Um, so you have to forgive me. I don't really know um, too much about milling, but. Uh, um, I'm going to try to keep these videos informative um, because, well, what we're going to be doing is converting this to CNC, um, me and my dad. Um, and he knows a lot about the electronic stuff. He's an electrical engineer, so um, he's doing all that. Um, we got this, this beastly stand built. Um, it's all 2 by 6s uh, It's probably pretty dark under here, but it's um, quite ridiculously solid. Um, we got two 2x6s two for each of the legs, and then the um, joists, I guess, basically, are sitting on there. So none of the weight's on the fasteners or anything. It's all straight to the ground. And then we have three-quarter ply on three of the faces for rigidity. Um, we're going to have to cut, either cut a little door out or um, hinge this whole bit. Because uh, for maintenance, you have to, to take this table off. You have to slide it all the way over, and we miscalculated the length. And we really only have this much space for it. Um, so then all the control stuff for the CNC is going to go in this big blue box. We have the PC we're going to use. Um, here's everything that comes with the, comes with the High Torque Mini Mill. Um, and I got it with the, the kit. Um, comes with um, a clamping kit which is going to be super useful um, if you, you should look up how to use these if you're they're really kind of a very cool thing um, got a vise got a bunch of collets one two three blocks um, a drill chuck a set of parallels uh, thin parallels and then a set of end mills two and four flute and then um, Center finder, edge finder, T-slot cleaner, uh, center drills of various sizes. Uh, what's this? Uh, vice mounting kit, just screws and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that all came with the mill, just like in a package. You can get a. They had it on sale for a while. Uh, so then we got um, over here. We have this is where we're assembling all the CNC parts. Um, we got a Gecko G540. Um, board right here which I'm not going to touch because my hands are all greasy and then we got uh, a USB smooth stepper um, control thingy because uh, we wanted to run USB um, if possible and we got this really sweet box that it all fits in just ever so perfectly it's like made for it basically so the, uh, the uh, G540 fits in this slot right here and the smooth stepper lays right here and fits perfectly then we got our ball screws and everything from CNC Fusion, um, and they look beautiful. They're all really well machined. Um, and so I have a couple projects I need to do with the manual mill, um, a couple knives I want to do. Um, but after that, we're going to be getting it all wired up. And since there's no video of, ooh, that's pretty, too bright, yeah. Uh, and since there's no video of this this exact mill being converted to CNC we're gonna we're gonna document our progress um, so what I'm gonna do today is clean up the mill and then we're gonna mount it um, we have the top of the tables made out of two by sixes and then we have a piece of three-quarter MDF for for its density and stability um, sorry phone Stein but so I'm gonna clean this up today um, mount it to the table and then while well, my dad works on some of the electrics and then 
Uh, hopefully get it up and running by the end of the week, but uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Peace.